Welcome in, my name's Ryan, I'll be your pilot. If you're new here, hit that subscribe button. If you've been here before, welcome back. I love having you here. Boys and girls, I wanna talk a little bit about Perion Winfrey, the defensive lineman from the Cleveland Browns. He was released earlier this year. The New York Jets have brought him in for a workout. The timing works out pretty well because the Jets have a few injuries and this guy is pretty good. So I wanna get into it, give you a little bit of his information. He is six foot four, 200. And 90 pounds. He's the defensive lineman that was drafted out of Oklahoma. He originally went to a Juco college, was the best player in the country, transferred to Oklahoma. So he played his final two years there. But this dude, like legitimate, he had offers from Alabama, LSU, Baylor, and Texas. He was at the Senior Bowl with the Jets, actually got MVP with the Jets. So it's kind of cool that our coaching staff got to have hands on him at the, uh, at the Senior Bowl last year. Uh, he was a fourth round pick, second round grade is what I saw in his draft profile, and, and can play all the defensive line positions. So this guy's like, wow, how did the Jets find this dude just on the street, seemingly like plucked out of thin air? How did the, how did the Jets do this? Why, uh, why, what's going on here? So there's a few things that you gotta know about him. There's been some character concerns. Back in April, he was arre uh, arrested, arrested, after being accused of causing bodily injury to a girlfriend, case was dropped after Winfrey completed a diversion program. It's not necessarily the, the best thing. Uh, he was released by the Browns in July after being cited as a suspect in an aggravated robbery incident. So a different incident, uh, you know, within, I guess, the same calendar year. Uh, and then it just kind of keeps going on. And then in, in June, which I guess was the month prior, uh, Perry on Winfrey and Greg Newsom were robbed by six men at 3.30 in the morning. So, so like, look, when I'm, when I'm looking at this dude, I'm saying, okay, extremely high upside. Lots of, of, of talent. Clearly the Jets liked him because they wanted to bring him in after having him in the senior bowl. We did actually talk about Winfrey back during that time uh, last year during the draft process. So does it make sense to bring him in now? I get the feeling that he dropped a little bit due to some of these character concerns. And even though the robbery case that was cited as the reason why he was released from the Browns was dropped yesterday, it still gives me pause for concern because there's enough questionable behavior or at least interesting circumstances. Like if you're getting robbed at 3.30 in the morning, what the hell are you doing at 3.30? <laughs> in the morning. Like to me, my parents always told me nothing good happens after midnight. And like, I understand stuff goes wrong and, and whatever, and you can't control what other people are going to do to you. But it just seems like this dude finds himself either in the wrong places or puts himself in not so great situations. And from a leadership perspective, I think there's a very clear, uh, jarring juxtaposition as far as his character compared to the character that Jets, uh, that the Jets organization generally brings in. Now, the other argument is, hey, the Jets have such a strong locker room. We have so many strong leaders in this team that we could help fix or help raise up this guy that clearly needs a little bit of help. Uh, a lot of times when you see situations like this, there's teams that are out there that say, hey, it's not good to let this dude just be on his own. Let's try to bring him in. Obviously, there's talent there as well. That's the primary reason you'd bring him in. But this would be a pretty cheap option. The Jets just lost Al Woods to a possibly career-ending injury with that torn Achilles. So the Jets are going to have a little bit of defensive line space that they can kind of work with here. With Winfrey, he can play all the defensive line positions. So I understand the value in bringing him in at this point. And you're not really signing people to be choir boys. You're signing them to get after the quarterback and, you know, strip the ball out and sack, play, whatever. You're not, you're not bringing in choir boys. So it's okay to have some of this rough and tough sort of situation, I guess, going on. But at the same time, like, I'm sitting here thinking, like, if the Browns had to cut this dude because he was a little too, like, Ugh, we don't want to touch him. But what does that say? They have Deshaun Watson on their team. Dude's got, like, 20-some-odd cases of, like, accused assault. <laughs> and they, they go trade for this dude. I... I don't know. I, there's there's a little bit of a funny part. To, I shouldn't say funny. Funny's the wrong word. But like, if you can't stick with the Browns and you have character concerns, what other team is going to bring you in? Clearly, at least the the talent seems to be uh, interesting for the New York Jets. So do I want the Jets to sign him overall? I think it would be a worthwhile swing from a, a financial standpoint, from a skill standpoint. And considering you don't have to trade away any picks and you basically get, I don't want to say a free second round pick player, but that's 
almost essentially what it is if you can turn around some of the character concerns that you have with the with the player himself. So, guys, I'm interested. What do you think of Perry on Winfrey? Do you want the Jets to sign him? Do you want them to maybe steer clear of him? And what do you think? Could it just be due diligence? I mean, heck, we brought in uh, that uh, punt god for a workout back in the summer and everyone was freaking out like, oh my God, this guy's gonna sign with the New York Jets. He's an incredible leg and he's got these, you know, questionable stories in his past from things that kind of went sideways in college and like not good either, but nothing ever came of it. So I, I don't know. Interesting stuff all the way around. I wouldn't mind either way if they do it. I just think there's gonna be a little bit of baggage if they do do it. So guys, let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. And as always, go Jets. J-E-T-S, Jets!